Head set in the air from Urban Meyer, and he will go out a winner. The moment Rose Bowl post game in the locker room. 25th football coach at The Ohio State University. When Urban turns and puts the whistle around your neck. What's the first thought you had, honestly? It's kind of a blur, to be honest with you. There's not too many people who, the first time they put a whistle around their neck, didn't think about being the head coach at Ohio State. All the great coaches that have come before and the great history of Ohio State, uh, that's the thing that hit me the most. Where's the whistle? Uh, it's in my office, right next to the picture of, of Coach putting it around my neck. Why not use it? Because if I used it, I'll probably be chewing on it and yelling and screaming. It'll, it'll get ruined fast. Flat! Run away flat! See how fast that's going to happen? Both in terms of the symbolic and the concrete, you made a decision right away regarding the head coach's office. What did you do? We kind of changed the insides of it. They can walk in and sit down on the couch, and I want to be approachable. I want to make sure they know they can always come in and have conversations with me. When someone comes in there, it, it feels like home. And if we call this family and that this is their new home, that's their living room. You know Urban as well as anybody, and you know that in March or in April or any day on the calendar, it could feel at any moment like fourth and one. The hell with that! We don't want to coach average. I don't want to be around you. Why be around average? How often do you want it to feel like fourth and one? I think that's the balance, and that's the art of coaching right now. I think that they have to feel loved. They have to feel like they're a part of something. They have to feel positive. Good strain, Nick. Good strain, Nick. Good strain. Good strain. But at the same time, have that edge to them and that uncomfortable uh, feeling that they're going to fight and really work really, really hard. How do you find that? Yeah. I, I don't think there's, a, there's an easy answer. Every day you wake up in the morning and say, how can I address this? How can I make our team tough? But then also create that love that they want. I just want you to tell me, as I show you this picture, what you see. OK. OK. I know exactly what happened here. We were at William & Mary. It was a tough game. And I kind of launched myself into the end zone and scored. At that point, it was within a touchdown. We actually lost the game. And that hurt when I landed on, on the ground right there. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Ryan Day. How would you rate the athleticism of the quarterback in that picture? <laughs> Not as good as it might look right there. No. <laughs> Fields off his back foot. Another Buckeye touchdown. You haven't lost as a head coach here. What kind of loser are you? Well, it won't be good, but <laughs> uh, we all are going to do everything we can to win and make this great and be here for the next 20 years. But, you know, when something doesn't go well, we have to hang in there and handle it like men. Good ball. That's the timing right there. What's one thing you could not have known prior to that whistle going around your neck that you know now? You can say all you want that you understand what it means to carry the burden of uh, the wins and losses of Ohio State. You know, it's on you at the end of the day. And uh, there's nothing that can prepare you for that because I know what's at stake. I know what these people expect. And so, you know, in my mind, I'm so competitive that I want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to make and continue it to be great. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.